Good afternoon, parents. Hope you are doing well. Um, I am coming to you live from the middle school office, and this is a video for fifth and sixth parents, mostly fifth grade parents. Joyce Marion, the lower school SAP coordinator, and one of your very own told me that you all had some questions about an email that went out explaining the schedule for next year. Um, and so I wanted to sort of get in touch with you all and talk a little bit about the schedule for next year. I think that email was written um, for an audience that maybe was a little bit more familiar with the schedule already. So uh, I'm using this new Screencastify app to try this um, sort of explanation so that maybe you could just sort of see the visual that I was referring to. Um, and then you can email me if you have individual questions. The first thing to point out is this is the schedule for next year, and this is this frozen block in the morning up here at the top. That's called F1. And we mostly do F1. We started F1 um, to enable us to better serve 7th seventh, seventh and 8th grade athletes. So different sports, cheerleading, uh, football, volleyball, will start their practices in 7th and 8th grade at, say, 715. And this enables them to have a longer block to practice and to shower before going um, to school for the rest of the day. So that's what F1 is. It exists mainly for the seventh and eighth graders to do athletics. If they are not playing a sport, um, they go to fitness during the morning to start every morning with um, fitness. Uh, the other thing to, uh, or actually uh, for fifth and sixth grade, F1 serves a different purpose. In sixth grade, it's where they do art selections. And for fifth grade, for your students next year, they do a quarter rotation during F1. So this is uh, a class that they have for one quarter, and then they move on to the next quarter rotation. The quarter rotations for next year are performing arts, uh, fine arts, um, Spanish, and technology. So your students will have one of those four quarter rotations every morning to start out. Okay, this is another thing, this Wednesday professional development that will be new for you all. Uh, Wednesday professional development um, happens at the lower school in the afternoons, and so it doesn't impact the early morning start. But here we have a late start on Wednesday mornings. It starts at 845. Um, some families do a little tradition where they do Wednesday breakfast or they'll sleep in a little bit Wednesdays. The other thing um, that I would say to you all is if you are from a household with two working parents or where everybody works, um, you can drop off at the normal time, no extra charge. There's uh, supervised care on those Wednesday mornings. Um, your child's schedule after that frozen block uh, will be 50-minute uh, blocks right here, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Friday, and then longer blocks on Wednesday, Thursday. Every student has every class four days a week. And those classes for you all are um, math, uh, reading and writing are two separate classes. We call them something more highfalutin. I can't remember what the perfect terminology is, but it's reading and writing. Um, social studies, uh, fitness, and science. So those are the six classes that fit in these blocks. Okay, so your child will, they might have block five fitness, and that means that in block five, they go to fitness in the arc right there. OK, every class also you'll see drops once on Wednesday or Thursday. Um, the other question that I had um, from parents was what happens during these flex periods. You all know that at the lower school, um, chapel happens on Friday mornings, every Friday morning. At the middle school, we build it into um, right here or this will be what we'll do next year. So the flex period in the morning, hopefully one of these will be a chapel. One of these will be advisory. We have not decided on which day we'll have chapel and which day we'll have advisory, but I hope to keep it rather constant. Um, so that'll happen in the mornings, and then these afternoon flex periods for your students will be supervised study halls. Um, so those are periods where they'll be with their advisor for a study hall. Uh, lunch, you'll see here, um, this is a long block for lunch, and that's because it's the 5th, 6th, and the 7th, 8th, and they'll flip-flop back and forth between lunch and recess. So one of them, one of those groups will start with recess and go to lunch, and the other group will do the inverse. And we haven't decided which one fifth and sixth will be yet, whether or not they'll go to first lunch or second lunch, but it'll happen during these blocks. Um, I think that's all uh, the questions that I had um, from parents, but I'm certainly amenable to uh, answering anything else you all have on your radar. I hope you all have liked my foray into screen Castify, and I hope you are having a good start of your week down there at the lower school. I'm excited to see your students 
here soon and to um, see you all as well. Um, over and out.